Good day guys and girls. Are you looking at a cheap, easy solution for mud flaps for your Mustang Mach-E? Well, stick around. We're gonna show you a real quick, easy, cheap tutorial with no special tools required, I promise. So stay tuned. <laughs> So before we start, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. So you can see it's clearly identified AOSK and it's, I don't know what it stands for, but it's AOS Canology is the full name of the company. You can see right on there, it says Mach-E, Mustang Mach-E series. And then there's the label on the bottom and it says AOSK for Mustang Mach-E, no need to drill holes, made in China. So I like that it comes in the bag. It does come in a box and then the bag's inside the box. You take them, take them out of the bag. They're paired. And you can see that the material is actually quite flexible. It's got like just a, just a bit of like a rubberiness to it. So I hope that this means that if it impacts any uh, debris on the road, rocks, or anything like that that it's gonna basically resist breaking because that has been a complaint of uh, mud flaps in the past just in general that uh, they get a little brittle especially in the winter time and that's when we're putting these on is to keep our vehicle safe from uh, all the perils of the road so it's basically split up into your lefts and your rights so everything's very simple and very laid out and try not to be confusing. Buried at the bottom of the bag is actually an instruction pack and this is fantastic. I was not expecting this at all. It's actually got the puller tool which is actually a really nice tool. I'll show you when we get outside but look how thin that is. The one that I've got is super super thick um, and it does work, but this one here is going to make sure that you're not going to mar up any of the, the clips. And there's the clips there. If my fingers would work to get it open. So what actually happens is you've got this clip in here, and then this goes in and pops it out. That's fantastic. I was not expecting that at all. So that's great. Well done so far. I'm very, very impressed. All right, guys and girls, so before we start, you can see that we've got the front tire and wheel removed and we've got the car jacked up. If you want to see a video on how to properly jack up a Mach-E, an F-150, Lightning, or any electric vehicle, check that other video out. I'll have a link at the end of the video. And if you're looking for other videos regarding Mach-E's, uh, trips that we've done, how to install louvers or grills on the back of your Mach-E, how to install a dash cam in your Mach-E, or even how to charge your Mach-E, installing a dual Grizzly charger, anything that's Mach-E related, check out my channel. We've got you covered here. It might not be the flashiest content, but it'll definitely be the most informative content. So before we go any further, I'd like to point out that this is what they supply in the kit. They actually give you this little Allen wrench I don't know if you can see that here and it will work but I've opted to go for a Torx bit because that's actually what is installed on the Mach-E right now so this is a T30 Torx bit and if you don't have that by all means you can use this one it comes with the kit it will work fine I just found that this one is more proper for this situation additionally for the rear they give you this little wrench. It will work, okay? I'm not saying that it won't work. If you don't have tools, this will work fine. And the fact that they're including these tools with the kit is fantastic. But a better solution would be a box end wrench, 13 millimeters. Even better would be a ratchet or what I'm gonna be using is a cordless ratchet 13 millimeter bit on it 
I have the technology, I'm going to use it. But you don't need it, it comes in the kit. Additionally, the kit includes this puller for pulling out the plugs. So these plastic plugs or these plastic fasteners, if you want to call them that. And this is fantastic because this is the one that I own. And you can see just how thin this one is compared to the one that I've got. This one does work, but I find that you really got to loosen it up first before you get that fastener out. This one's nice and thin and it slides right in there and pops it right out. So, so, so far, very, very impressed with this kit. It's got everything that you need, no special tools required like I promised. So to start off with, we just took a rag and we just got some of the dust off of there. You're not gonna get it all. And it doesn't really matter that it's there because dust and dirt will work its way in behind the mud flap when we're done. So the first thing to do is take, take this tool and I'm gonna try to do this the best I can without getting into frame. And you'll see here that there's a little tab. There's a little indentation where you can get a tool in there to start kind of working at it. So that's what I like to do is get in there, just kind of pry a little bit first. Then I like to try to get the tool in behind. And I'm trying to do this without getting into frame, which is going to prove to be a little difficult. So you can see there, We've got the fastener out about a half inch. Go in behind this next lip and pop the whole thing out. And I'll show you what that. So we pop this out and then we went in behind, in behind the fat lip there and then pop the whole thing out. It just helps pull it out. If you don't have a lot of debris, and sand in there like what I had, they typically pop out right away. Now, like I mentioned, the kit comes with this Allen key and the Allen key will work. I've got the Torx bit, it's started now. I can just use the Torx bit to take it out. If it was more difficult than that, I could put on my ratchet to get it off or I could use that guy. So next step is just simply take the mud flap we're just going to line it up it's going to seat down in that hole it's going to seat up in this slot here i like to start this one first because it'll hold everything okay so the fastener's in now it's holding everything in place we can take our bolt here again I'm trying not to get too much in the frame but I know I am so we've tightened that down hand tight it was no more than hand tight when we started you want to follow it up just give it a little that wasn't even a quarter turn so this top fastener here we're just gonna push in and if you're having a little bit of trouble it is seated but if you're having trouble a couple little taps with the end of this or a small small hammer Mallet would be preferred, but everything's reinstalled and we're ready to move on to the rear. So the rear is gonna be very similar to the front. The only difference here is that we've got three fasteners. These two bottom ones are smaller than the top one. So remember that, wipe everything off. And then we've also got a bolt to deal with underneath. We'll show you that in a second, but let's get these ones removed. I didn't mention this already, but the kit does come with plugs or fasteners. Uh, they seem okay, and if you've damaged them, then they're there for your use. So again, we're just going to get our bit in here, and it's kind of hard to do this without getting in the way because I want to stick my head in there. And I apologize for the street noise, but uh, we're on one of the busiest streets in this area. Actually, the busiest street in this area, busiest street in this city. So you can see that we, we pop this fastener out by accident. They just slide right back in. It's ready to go. Again, this is smaller than the top one. So remember, two bottom ones are smaller. I really just want to stick my head in there and see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to make it easier for you guys and girls to see. And 
again, you can stick it behind the wider part, force the whole fastener out. So that's it. So underneath you can see that we've got this fastener and what we're going to do is we're going to use cordless ratchet and just simply pull the fastener out like that. You can use a ratchet, you can use a box end wrench or you can use the wrench that was supplied with the kit. I just have the technology, I'm going to use it. So the install is just going to basically be the reverse of what we just did. What I like to do is get this placed up in here, get it all situated, take your large fastener, get it started up in this top part here because it's going to kind of keep everything in place while we move down and we put the screw in from underneath to make sure that that gets seated first and then we'll add these two. So we're going to come back in here, we're going to locate that hole, we're going to get it started with our finger and then we're going to take our tool of choice and not super tight, that's all you need. You can tighten this one up because we've got the other ones up top that's holding everything in place. So now we're ready to put the two smaller fasteners back in. Make sure that everything's seated properly. Push it in, tighten. Push it in, tighten. This top one's already in, tighten her down. If you want to give it a couple love taps well that was interesting I don't know if you actually caught that but when I was banging in the top here these two popped out and they're fully seated and I think what the issue is is that this is much shorter than what that one is because it's a smaller fastener and it's kind of hard to see but you've got this material you've got this liner material and then you've got the sheet metal to go through and i think it's just a little bit too long for these but i think in this case we're going to try using two of the fasteners that come with the kit and as you can see they've got a much longer throat or depth on them than what these ones do so let's see if these even go in first they do, and they do. Wow, okay. Well, I know that those are seated now. Okay, so there we go. We're learning together here, people. So if you're removing your tires, it's super easy to do this. You don't have to remove the tires to do it. It just it gives you a little bit more uh, clearance and room to get in there and actually remove the fasteners. So if you're like me, you're putting on the winter tires for uh, well the next six months because I live in Canada, um, it, now's the time to do it. So the two can go hand in hand. If not, you can decide whether you want to remove the wheels or not. Either way, it's going to be super simple, just a lot easier with uh, something out of the way. So with the vehicle down, we can really get an idea of how this looks. And so far, I am very, very impressed. Fit and finish has been fantastic. Again, this is not going anywhere. And I feel like it's going to resist stones and other debris. Take a look at the front. Again, fit and finish, very, very good. It's got notch here, notch here notch underneath fantastic but probably one of the best aspects of these is they've done their homework and they figured out where this line needs to be to keep all the slush off of the vehicle so I'm very very hopeful that this is gonna work out well we'll do an update video just to show you guys and girls how things are going and if it actually protects the way that it's supposed to so I really hope that you guys and girls found the video informative. If you did, think about giving me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, thumbs down. And just tell me why down in the comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Always looking at improving this channel. If you notice, we don't have the flashiest content. We don't have a ton of uh, cool effects and 3D effects and stuff like that. But I firmly believe that the content 
and the information is more important than the flashiness of it. And if you're here, I think that's uh, really resonating with you because I, I firmly believe, in fact, I know that most people are capable of more than they could even think of. Yeah, it might take a special tool here and there, but with a little bit of information, a little bit of elbow grease, and obviously the information you get from the more you bear, you're gonna be able to do more than you even think. So remember, you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.